Hey, it's Frisbee Rob. I'm going to tell you all about Frisbee. So Frisbee is very different than a ball because of the shape. You can turn a Frisbee upside down, sideways or backwards. And in fact, no matter how you hold the Frisbee, you can throw it. There's no wrong way to throw a Frisbee, but there is a right way to throw every single throw. And how many throws are there? Well, it might surprise you, but there's about 150 ways to throw a Frisbee. So 150 ways to throw a Frisbee. I'm not going to show you all of them today. I'm going to show you about 15 different throws. Okay, but just keep in mind that pretty much any way you hold the Frisbee, you can throw it. And I'm sure there's some throws out there that have not yet been invented, so that might be something that you can do. We like to say that when a ball dreams, it dreams it's a Frisbee. And in fact, they move differently through the air. So a ball is going to fall, a ball is going to go up and come down, whereas a Frisbee is actually going to fly and glide through the air. You can think of a Frisbee like an airplane. It's going to fly best when it's nice and flat from nose to tail. You can turn it side to side, but once you start getting the nose up, you're going to see the Frisbee start going up in the air and actually stalling out. So typically when you're throwing a Frisbee, try to keep it nose to tail flat and just adjust side to side. Again, many different ways to throw a Frisbee. The main throw in Frisbee is called a backhand. It's a throw that I've set all my world records with. Okay, just like tennis, right, backhand. So just like tennis, the other throw, main throw is called a forehand. Okay, you can also throw a Frisbee upside down. You can also throw a frisbee upside down like that, or even upside down like that. Okay. You can also roll a frisbee on the ground. Okay. So the cool thing about rolling a frisbee is actually it can go super far, but you don't really want to throw that for a lot of the different sports. So think of frisbee like track and field or swimming. There's a lot of different things you can do with a frisbee. You can play ultimate frisbee. You can play disc golf. Okay. Um, Ultimate Frisbee, a roller is not a good throw because once it hits the ground, it's actually a turnover. The other team gets the disc. But in disc golf, a roller is a great throw. You can imagine if you have a, a hole that you have to go uh, under trees. Really tough sometimes to throw those low shots, but a roller actually, you can get under those trees much more easily. And as I mentioned, a roller can go really, really far. So the world record right now for the longest throw of a Frisbee in the air is about four football fields for men and about two for women. But the world record for the longest roller, surprisingly, is about 12 football fields. So a friend of mine, Randy Lom from Colorado, rolled a Frisbee over one kilometer. Okay? By mistake, I rolled a Frisbee eight football fields before. So Frisbees can do some pretty wild things when you have wind, when you have a lot of spin on them. Have a lot of fun with them. Okay? So a roller, so backhand roller, if you're right-handed, goes to the right. That means if you're right-handed, a forehand roller is going to go the opposite way to the left. So you can actually control how a disc moves, not only in the air, but also on the ground. You can also throw a Frisbee down at the ground. Just like if you throw a rock on water, you can actually make it skip. Okay. Again, you can either skip a backhand or a forehand. And if you want, just for fun, you can also skip two Frisbees. Okay. Again, not a throw. We want to throw an ultimate Frisbee, but if you're playing catch, you can do that. It's just a fun throw. And in disc golf, if you're playing in the wintertime, off ice, off snow, it's a good throw. You don't really want to be skipping off of concrete. You don't really want to damage the Frisbee and also make it stuck um, or hit the ground and not skip very much because of the friction. Same as in grass. So if you want to be skipping uh, gym floor, wooden floor, or something like that, where it's nice and smooth, it's a lot easier to skip. Okay? You can also push a Frisbee. It's going to go a lot slower and glide and come down nice and soft. You can also hit the Frisbee. You can also throw it over your head. You can throw it between your legs. You can throw it behind your back. You can also do something called Frisbee fireworks. You can throw more than one Frisbee at the same time. So you just put the rims of the Frisbee together and then throw a normal throw. Okay? So I once threw five Frisbees and I had five boys catch them. It was pretty fun. You can also spin Frisbees on your fingers okay, and do tricks with them. Like I mentioned, think of Frisbee like swimming or track and field, so a lot of different things you can do. This is something from freestyle, so you can also spin a Frisbee on a Frisbee. You can also spin a Frisbee on your finger. Okay. You can also tip a Frisbee. You can also brush a Frisbee. And you can also roll a Frisbee on your body and try to catch it. So you can also roll it and try to catch it. You can also do something called Frisbee trick shots. If you've ever watched Dude Perfect, you know exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try and throw a Frisbee into the basketball net. 
So I have a bunch here. Hopefully I can make it in fewer than these throws. I'm gonna try and throw it so it goes off the backboard and into the basketball net. Cool, so second try. Sometimes you do it on the first, sometimes it takes 20 or 30 tries. So there's also this disc, which is called the X-Disc. There's another one similar to this called the Spin Jammer. And there's actually a spot in the bottom where you can have your fingers so it's easy to spin. You can spin it upside down as well. Think of this like a giant fidget spinner, but it's also been around for a very long time, so about 40 years. And you can do tricks with it, so you can go under the leg or even behind the back. So you can have a lot of fun with this one. Just have to get some spin on it. So a lot of different ways to have fun with a Frisbee. Because of the shape, you can do a lot of cool things with it. But don't limit yourself just to Ultimate Frisbee or Disc Golf. Play catch, invent games, have fun with it, explore, come up with your own throws. Throw into a disc golf basket, throw into a basketball net, throw to yourself, throw to your friend, throw to a dog. A lot you can do with a Frisbee, have fun with it, and let me know uh, what your favorite part of Frisbee is.